think it is a steep learning curve to move from a non-regulated to a regulated environment as a tester? And if so, why? Well, um, maybe it's not only a steep curve. Maybe it's, it's uh, the, the issue that can happen is uh, more on the side of adapt, adaptation or adapt, how would you say that? Integration. Adaptation. Adaptation, right? So why? Because uh, being a developer or being a tester in a fashion industry or e-commerce, where you have freedom to do whatever you want, and then coming to a regulated world, is usually a question, why do I need to do that? <laughs> it's not super fun, right? <laughs> uh, but then, if someone would ask this question, it is more about explaining what is the value of it, right? So we are right. with values here. And now, coming back to Agile, Agile is about values. So if you present uh, this as a product, because compliance is a product as well, Mm -hmm. They're building functionality. As a user, I want to be able to perform this transaction mm -hmm. and I want it to be secure and I want it to be compliant. But that's a product, right? It's not just yep. I'm going to build an API and I'm going to build a screen and let's ship it. And that's a product. That's not a product. That's how. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the learning curve would be more, as you said, uh, adaptation. So getting on board to the values of a regulated world. Why is it important? Though uh, there is not much of, you do, you need to learn a new technology. No, because it's the same technology, just is used differently. It's a different right. approach. It's, it's a lot more of aspects and risk assessment during implementation and testing than in other domains.